Hello again. This masterclass sort of carries on from the last one when I was talking about the rule of thirds and composition. So what I really wanted to do is to show you some of my sketches and talk through the process or talk through how I've applied some of the processes that I've been talking about in these sessions. So, but this is Washington Park Square in New York. And the thing about this, again, it's a one point perspective, but I've really, I started drawing this in layers. When I talked about stage set design, that's actually how I drew this. I started with my trees, my people, litter bin, lamppost, stuff going on in the foreground. Then I drew the arch. As you'll see, I've worked across a double page. Uh, the arch is left of centre, so again, I didn't centre it. And then I've got the buildings around, but I haven't completed them. I've just given an indication. And sometimes that works really well when you've got a really sort of um, heavily um, uh, sort of foliaged tree line. So actually you've got above the trees and below the trees. And we've also got some interest um, in the background going through the arch. It is a one point perspective, but there isn't really much in perspective. So it, it feels to me like foreground, central focus, background. I'm drawing in a fine pen. In these days I was drawing in 0.1 millimeter fine liner. I've said before, I don't know that much about fountain pens and things. I just draw with fine liners. Recently, in the last couple of years, I don't know if it's because of my eyesight, but I'm actually drawing in 0.05 pens. But this would be 0.1. And then at the end of the drawing, I would pick out strong foreground elements, probably using a 0.05 or 0.3. 0.3, I should say. So that's uh, an example of the sort of cityscapes approach. Another drawing similar. This is Hong Kong. I'm very lucky to have uh, travelled a lot. Again, we've got foreground. We've got middle ground. This was my key focus, this building. And then we've got background, backdrop. Lovely, Hong Kong peak. I haven't felt the need to complete all the buildings. Again, it's a sketch. And um, like in some of the other um, examples I've shown you, I also didn't feel as if I, I needed or wanted to add a lot of colour to the sketch. I just wanted to keep it really simple. I think actually I was drawing this from Kowloon, looking across to Hong Kong Island, and um, it was the rainy season had just started. So actually, I think the weather is representative. It was like a typhoon when um, I got out of where I was and was, was trying to get back across to Hong Kong Island. So again, layers, stage set, layers. Here's another one. Venice, a little bit of colour, very strong one point perspective going on here. Flat elevation because it's parallel to us, as is, as is the tower. But I really like this feeling of busyness and you know, with the very loose watercolour. So um, I, I think that's probably one of my favourite drawings that I've done. And this is actually more recent. This was in Lisbon um, a few months ago. And again, I, I, I sometimes like being quite confusing. So I've got all these people. I drew the foreground pretty much at the beginning and then I added in. So, so again, you know, if we're going with rule of thirds, that monument sculpture, column you know is way off center but everything is sort of leading you to that point here's another example so this in chicago this time you can see very clearly i've drawn the foreground similar to the washington park square foreground darkened up some of the lines strong verticals and then i have my backdrop of Chicago skyscrapers i'm really interested in terms of watercolor is just it's a layer to me so I tend to start with my sky and that drips down into the, the greenery with some added highlights, as we can see. Not too much information, but you know, enough to really be representative of the view. But whilst talking about that, I do have another version. This is actually just um, off. Um, I've just printed this off, so it's a bit small, but you can perhaps see it. This was another version that I did 
which is much more detailed, much more of an architectural illustration than a sketch. But it's still doing the same things. We've got the foreground, which is the Buckingham Fountain. And then really, we've just got a backdrop. And you know, it's like when to add detail and when not to add detail. So there is a mix across the different buildings. But again, that's a different approach. Um, and that obviously took an awful lot longer. Don't be intimidated by the big view. Build it up in layers. What's in the foreground? Get your key focus in the middle ground and then put in the background or the backdrop is what I would say. Hope that helps. Thank you.